Hey everyone, David here with Go High Level, and here's an updated tutorial on how to load a snapshot to an existing location with the new add override features. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, make sure that you are in your agency settings. We're going to come into settings. We're going to go to account snapshot, and if you haven't already, make sure you create a snapshot. So I already created one, so I'm not going to create another one, but let's just say um, I created a snapshot right here. So I'm naming it. And then I'm going to select the location of that snapshot. So let's say I want to grab all of the pipeline campaigns and information from this particular location. And I want to create a snapshot. So I would do that, I would name it, and then I would select that location I want to create the snapshot from, and then hit save. So once I'm done with that, I'll have my snapshot. And now I would be able to go to accounts, and I would be able to look for... The location that I want to import that snapshot to I'm going to come over here to actions I'm going to load snapshot and I'm going to search for that snapshot so here's the snapshot that I created David R snapshot test and now I'm going to click proceed now you will see that you have the option to be able to select what you want to take over and what you don't want to take over so for example everything's going to be defaulted as select all so you'll see all of these things popping up. So all of these triggers, um, all of these uh, settings will be imported into that new location. Unless maybe I don't want to take the triggers. Maybe I only want to take just the campaigns, the pipelines, and maybe for the funnel, maybe I might only want to take, you know, um, just one funnel. Okay, but for this particular video, I'm just going to leave out the triggers. And I'm going to take out, I'm going to take all of this with me. So I'm going to click proceed. And now you're going to notice right here where it said there are, there are a few conflicts. Please choose assets to overwrite. So we're going to go ahead and select which ones we want to overwrite. So in this particular case, I am going to go ahead and overwrite. Yeah, I guess I'm going to overwrite them all. Okay, so now because if I wanted to, I could say, you know what, let's let let's leave this one alone. Let's only overwrite this and this. Let's leave this one alone. Only overwrite this and this. Okay, so I have the ability to be able to select which ones I want to actually overwrite. So now I'll click proceed, and now copying the data. Note that if your snapshot has a lot of information, a lot of pipelines, a lot of triggers, a lot of campaigns, it will take some time for it to update. So when I go in there. I should get an update. Here's my update. Now, if I go in here, I should be able to come in and look at the snapshots that were taken over. So here's the pipelines, and I should be able to come into my marketing, my campaigns. I have test one, test two, test three. I should be able to come and take a look at the funnels. I have the funnels, and you'll notice that the triggers I don't have any additional triggers. This is the only trigger that was already in that account. And that's pretty much it. That's how you would basically update, upload your snapshot using the new features. You can choose to overwrite or you can choose to to skip whichever whichever part you don't want to take into the the new location or the existing location that you want. So if somebody's trying to share you a, their snapshot, they either did one of two things. One, they either just copy pasted and sent you a share URL link, or number two, they emailed you their uh, snapshot. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to import using both ways. So the first one we're gonna go over is if they just simply sent you the share URL link. All you need to do is be logged into high levels as I am right here, open a new tab in your browser, paste in that share link and hit enter. At this point, this screen's gonna pop up, like a, an additional instance of high level is gonna pop up, and you'll get a question, do you wanna import this snapshot to this account? You click yes, import now. And just like that, in the settings account snapshot section, under imported snapshots, you'll see the imported snapshot. And you can actually go ahead and close the first instance or first tab of uh, high level you had open. Now the second method is if they sent you an email, so I'm gonna go over to my inbox and this is what the email looks like. It simply says to add this snapshot to your account, click here, and you're just gonna click there. This is gonna open another instance of high level and then you can click yes, import now. And that snapshot has been imported.
Let me just close this other instance here and there you go. So I just showed you the two ways of importing snapshots dependent on how the other person shared them with you. I hope this video was very helpful. Thank you so much.